already got. Look at this guy out here. I'm gonna be honest. Oh my goodness, have a look at this. This is what I came for. That was spectacular. God, that was amazing. I, was, I didn't ever see anything like that. But I didn't expect the rest of this Outback Safari to blow me away equally as much. Let me show you. We're heading into the Australian Outback, up the River Murray, and staying in a luxury houseboat. But to get here, our Outback Safari tour with Murray River Trails starts on a much smaller boat. And our ride begins in the little town of Renmark, South Australia. I'm Mike, and I'm traveling with Nicole, who apparently only joins me on boat trips. <laughs> right in it. But she is the good one at spotting animals. Oh, there's a koala right there. Yes. Oh, well yeah. Spotted. Well oh, spotted. yeah, right up on the far branch. Oh, that's good. Nice, Nicole. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, we've come. We wanted to see a koala. We spot it right away. They're, they're hard to spot. As we continue up the river, we cross paths with a lot of birds. Do you see them? Yeah, they're kind of tiny, these pelicans, compared to the big fat ones you see in Florida. Oh yeah, maybe because they're so far away. Oh, that's possible. But the ones in Florida are the big, ugly things. Yeah. No offense Not to these those. nice, beautiful Australian ones. We're getting a lot more bird action than I expected right away. I thought I'd see more. Already? That's yeah. some red earth. Oh, we could have stayed there. I think we made the right choice. I think where we're staying is a little bigger than that. Nice. Yeah. I'm wearing sandals. I won't get bitten by a. Can't scorpion, promise you right? out here. Watch out for you could All get right. bitten by anything. Uh, some dry earth. So, traveling today with Nicole. Hi. Back on the channel. We're. Here hoping to see some of the big Australian animals. We've already ticked off koala. See if we can spot any emus, kangaroos, cockatoos maybe, or parrots, and uh, kookaburra is one I want to see. Anything else you want to see? I'm oh. looking for snakes, but I know you're just so I can protect you yeah. from them. I'm not particularly looking for snakes. I'll protect you. Thanks. But you're on spider duty. Right. Any spiders out here, Kim? Oh shit! <laughs> no. Nicole does not like spiders. I don't see them. Well, you want, you will. Oh. And even out here, there's always time for a cup of uh, tea. Yes. Yes. Look at this. I have no idea where we are. Doesn't seem to matter. So let's continue our way upriver. Now we will be sleeping on a boat on this trip, but not this one. I don't know why people trust me with this. Where are we going? Yeah, this way, he said. Watch out for that house, Suddenly we see another reason to stop. What do they see? Do you see them? No. Do you see them? Just yeah. To the right. Emus. Oh, yeah. Emus. Mike, did the, does the mother or the father look after the chicks, you know? Oh, I think they get a babysitter so they can both go to work. <laughs> so it's the father, is it? Yes. Are they good are they good parents? Yeah, the father, oh, yeah, yeah, the mother want to get too close. <laughs> so that's a father emu with three, four chicks. Well, we can check the emus off our list. But we're checking them off quickly. This is an Australian river safari. This is cool. Well, if that's how this tour starts, we're in for a good, good trip. That was good spotting. Is that why you guys always say, good eye, mate? Good, good spotting, Mark. We're headed further up the River Murray, deeper into the outback until we see where we're staying. There's our new home. That's an impressive boat. Thank you very much. This is a large, luxury, six bedroom houseboat. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so cozy. I can't believe we're on a boat. Our floating home for the next two nights. This is great. This is a queen size bed. We have a little deck, en suite bathroom with a large living room and dining room, with floor to ceiling windows, and on the roof, giant solar panels to power it all. Not bad for a boat. Look at this though. This is like a lodge or a resort. Not waterfront, on water. This is bigger than our freaking apartment. And I get to look at this amazing view. <laughs> Thank you. But maybe best of all, is the wildlife at our doorstep. Wow, he Holy is cow! Are you kidding? That's a goanna. That's three feet long. That thing is just off the front of our boat. That is a big lizard. 
And you know it's rare to see when the guide is taking pictures. No way that he's just climbing that tree. That is wild. It's like a snake with four legs. I feel like I'm living in a Steve Irwin show right now. Now to get an idea of just how big and important this river system is, Kim pulls out a map. Okay. Murray Darling Basin. It's a million square kilometers. Wow. All right, so all the water that comes so this dark line here is the peak of the Great Divide. Anything west of that coming straight past us now. Oh, almost a third of the country it feels like. Uh, is. I think it's, it's a seventh. A seventh. A seventh. Yep, so, so France can fit into this area twice. Our afternoon activity, we're going kayaking. Our first activity to acclimatize to our new environment out here is a little paddle down the river in these kayaks. Nicole's opted to take the back and steer us. Confidently. Confidently, yeah. You see, the River Murray is prone to flooding, so they've built 14 dams along it in order to control the flooding, as well as to hold water for drinking and irrigation throughout the drier months. What do you think? Beautiful. This is nice. Sam, just checking. No crocs in this, right? No crocs. No crocs. Okay. <laughs> but maybe it's just that being out on the water on a warm day is a cool and enjoyable place to be. Well, that was a very pleasant way to spend an afternoon. I reckon I've deserved a, a cold one. I've earned it. A frothy, is that what it's called? Headed back to the boat now for what was called a frothy. So I'm told. Home sweet home. But let me tell you why I chose this safari in Australia. So one of the main reasons I wanted to do the Murray Rivers Trail river safari tour is obviously because I'm Canadian and I wanted to come see some Australian animals, which we've checked off a lot of today already so far. But the other reason is this boat here. Murray River Trails wanted to have as little impact on the environment as possible when running these tours. They didn't want to have to build bathrooms, buildings to accommodate people out here in the outback. A houseboat is self-sustaining and the benefit is too that we can move it up and down the river so we are sleeping tomorrow night in a different location than here we're gonna get to go up and down the river on this thing once i heard that's why they want to use the houseboat it just makes sense for a tour company that is showcasing the environment and the surroundings that they have why would they want to leave a footprint at all because we've come to see it be pristine that's pretty pretty clever why wouldn't you want to sunset, it's dead quiet, and not another person in sight out here. And with that, I think it's dinner time. Now watching the sunset, eating Murray cod caught right here in this river, I thought this is it for our excitement for the day. But in the dark after dinner, our guide Kim calls us up to the roof to show us something unexpected. Oh, look at that moon. We wouldn't know it during the day, but we're in the River Murray International Dark Sky Reserve. It's actually one of the nearest places to a capital city that has got full dark sky, like no street lights, no, no light. light pollution. Right. So Nicole and I have come out tonight because I've never been in the Southern Hemisphere before. So they have different stars than we do <laughs> up in Canada. That is so cool. What? This, straight, look in there. Straight at the moon? Yeah. Holy cow, oh my gosh. It's known for its dry and cloudless skies and for being exceptionally dark right across the region. And I have never seen a sky like this. I mean, even Nicole is impressed. Oh wow, holy crap. Wow. Oh my Lord. But we've got to get to bed because we have an early morning ahead of us. I don't normally wake up this early on a vacation, but I think it's going to be worth it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, we've got coffee going. Jim, where are we going? We're going to climb Headings Cliffs pre-dawn. we got a pre-dawn walk, mate. This is some nice lighting. I don't normally see this lighting. I'm not usually up at sunrise. No, we are not morning people. They're not crack -a dawn people. But this is nice. And as we come ashore, there's already sign of life here. Look here, yeah, look, 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 look. This. this. Oh. That, that big snake That's like a goana. 
No, it's a snake. No, no, no it's not. No, it's a kangaroo. A kangaroo tail. Oh, kangaroo's been down to the water. Yeah. Oh wow. No, so when they they sit and they sort of walk, they, they push with their tail. <laughs> Yeah, but they, they put their tail yeah. down and push yeah. like a third leg. Yeah, you can see his paw marks here. I guess we're in kangaroo country. Why not? Kim says just at the top of this hill is the best spot to watch the sunrise. Wow. Wow. Kim, what a spot. That's the never never, mate. That's what we call it. Yeah, it goes on. Yeah, there's nothing out there. Out wow. in the never never. I don't know if it's just me, but the sunrise just feels different here. It's a different hue. Maybe it's the red earth. This feels like Australia. Red earth, low green bush, kangaroo paw prints all over the place. <laughs> Maybe it's because the birds sound different. Everything that the light touches is yours. Different continent. So Nicole, say something silly. <laughs> something silly. At five in the morning. Maybe it's because Kim packed the Joe. Cheers, babe. Mm. Ooh, coffee. Yeah. This is easily in the top five sunrises I've ever seen. I don't know if you've seen five sunrises. That's that's why I said it's easily. <laughs> this is stunning. And I gotta say, the birds here sound very different to North America. This is called an outback river safari, and I believe it. it feels like a safari. I can't see a single other building out here. This is a peaceful and scenic start to the day, which is good because this afternoon's activities will be a little more lively. Giant emu right here. We're about to sit down to breakfast. Look at this. This might just be a sign of things to come. Kim's trying to get its attention. <laughs> He's walking away. No, Kim, it's working. Keep going, keep going, it's working. <laughs> if we get some juvenile. They'll come right in. I can't believe we're just, just about to sit down to breakfast and we have an emu walk by. I'm really starting to think these animals are all staged. It's just <laughs> too perfect. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if at dinner you had a kangaroo hop up and knock on the door at this point. Yes, muesli yes. for breakfast. Mm, I don't think this is muesli. Um, is it not? So it's a bake. Apple bake? Yeah. <laughs> Apple bake for breakfast. All right, bye Sophie. All right, bye. it's not long before we're back on the boat. Off we go to the next adventure. We have about a 45 minute boat ride now. And it's now time for our tour on land. I'd love to see a kangaroo or two. Wow! Emus are so cool. Our guide, Tony, grew up in this area. And it's really not long before we start experiencing what I'll call outback traffic. Oh, there's another one further Oh yeah, up further up. Nicole and I came specifically to see the kangaroos and emus. I mean, we want to see the big, stereotypical Australian animals. Do emus normally move in yeah. packs, groups? Move in groups, absolutely. Well, the other couples with us are Australian and are a little more interested in some of the smaller species. Oh, this is amazing. This is a, um, it's a cuckoo. Yeah, I'm gonna, here I go, but he's gonna fly, see this? See the stripes on the tail? Look at the stripes on the tail. It's a fan-tailed cuckoo. The birders in the van said I've never seen one. I, I've never seen one. And Nicole is learning a lot. Well, that's the black ear. <laughs> I'm going with juvenile fan-tailed. But there's no, the fan tail doesn't have any stripes. Just look like you know what you're looking at. Nicole and I haven't ever had an interest in bird watching. Although we did come specifically to see emus, and so far they are not disappointing us. But I'm also realizing that emus are birds. So maybe I should embrace the life of a bird watcher. Oh, wait, you just get your binoculars on. Oh, yeah. uh, that's because it's juvenile. Yep. Let's have a look at him. It's this guy here. And we might just be with the right guys. What are you, what are you hoping to see today? Anything. I don't care. <laughs> All right. That's the right attitude to have. I can guarantee you. You'll see something. Anything that flies. Right. So you're from Queensland. I'm so from you're Queensland. Different birds. Some totally, same, but totally different. I'm just here to see whatever we see. What a beautiful chirp. Listen to those. More birds to be found. There it is, running over to the left. 
This is a floodplain, making it a great habitat for all sorts of birds of all different colors and sizes. Lawrence, you didn't tell me how difficult it is to be a bird watcher. It's a nightmare. Spot them all is tough. I think when everybody else can see the bloody thing and you can't there's water, there's often water birds. Emu on the road in front of us. Can't get much closer than that. Compared to the emus, they're just so hard to spot these little birds. Most of the birds even come with fun names. Kim, what's that called? The superb blue? Superb blue. Superb fairy wren. Fairy wren? It's a red leg dotro. Got it. And a rainbow bee eater. Truthfully, I feel like I'm picking up on the energy and excitement from the others, and I'm I'm actually worried that I might be enjoying bird watching. Oh, that's a beautiful. Okay, have a look. Yep. Oh yeah. See those stripes? Oh really? These look like ducks. Duck. 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 Goose. I'm becoming a twitcher, which apparently is the global term for bird watcher. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Come and have a look at this. Oh, no. They've just flown off. You really can't argue with being out here on a nice day. But there's more than just birds out here, too. What so was that see called? the stumpy tail? Yeah. It's like the stumpy head. So predators, when they go to pick them up, they're not quite sure which end to grab. <laughs> there's a few kangaroos out there. That are kangaroos? Feeding on that grass. Oh, oh yeah, in the, the distance. distance. What's the difference between a western grey kangaroo and a red kangaroo? Well, the very distinct coloration. Yep. Red kangaroo, the male will ultimately be, you know, probably a foot taller than a fully grown western grey. But the western grey, the, the male is still, you know, a big, beautiful, big animal. And the only animal we haven't seen yet suddenly appears. And in the most spectacular way. That was spectacular. God, that was amazing. I, was, I didn't go ever see anything like that. Never, never. You were doing 40, 50 yeah, kilometers oh yeah, no, no, an no, no, hour. They're going to do 60, 70. And after all that excitement, we run into our first Australian traffic jam. They're coming right out. That was such an exciting day full of so much wildlife spotting. Thank you again. Great to meet you. Fantastic. Should we uh, head back for a drink? No. <laughs> On the way back, we got a kookaburra. Finally, a day of bird watching is not complete without a kookaburra. Oh, I oh, there he is. He has a great, not mohawk, but great oh, hair. Blue wing kookaburra. I'm learning it's not just one, it's not just a type of bird, specifics. That's a good one. They're not big. Well, wait a minute. We're back on the houseboat. What happened to the cliffs? We've moved. That's the beauty of the houseboat. Yes. New location tonight. Oh, Lawrence, I have to ask. How many did you get? How many did well, you see today? Well, I, I think uh, t 20 species today. 20? 15 yesterday, wow. all different. So, successful day. Brilliant day, and several lifers. Wow. Oh my God, uh, the, the spotted, the Australian spotted crake, uh, the Balon's crake, uh, the black-eared cuckoo, uh, the, um, I'm, I'm, the, 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 what are the Peking duck? The pink-eared duck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so at least four or five lifers today, which is pretty special. What's a lifer? A like bird you've never seen in your life before. Oh, wow. For first time ever. So uh, given I've been bird watching for 40 years, and in this country mainly, to see a lifer, now is very, very, very exciting. I'm not having a bird watching to be this excited. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good bird watching day. Any that you were hoping to see that you haven't seen yet? 
I always hope to see a good bird. <laughs> there, was, I didn't, there were none that I specifically came to, to look right. for. I'm just excited when I see stuff I've never seen before. Speaking of which, I have heard regent parrots across the water. Oh wow. Ooh. So, here? Right here. And once we hear that, Lawrence is determined to see it. What are we looking for? I really want to see that regent's parrot. Parrots are native to Australia. Yes, but the regent parrot is a very rare parrot apparently. It only occurs just here. And it's a beautiful golden yellow colour. Good, good few days overall? Oh, I've been fantastic. Oh yes. That's Lots of birds, it's been brilliant. And great company, oh, you, you guys have been fun. Yeah, it's been a very fun group. Yeah. I guess twitchers are a good group of people. We must be, we must be. Must be. <laughs> what did you see? I saw a regent parrot. Oh no, <laughs> oh, no it's not fair. Oh no. <laughs> suck, <laughs> suck it up, cupcake. No. <laughs> oh, you're mean. That's what I'm learning is the <laughs> trouble with bird watching is you don't see everything but someone else might see oh. it. Oh well, maybe they'll come back. The elusive Regent Parrot. Yeah. It doesn't count if you don't get a picture. I got a shot. It's so far away. Oh! No. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, it's, see, it's too, yeah. too, too far away. Another successful spot. You saw it? Yeah. Oh, you liked it? It was very cute. What was it? A parrot. Regent Parrot, I think. Ah, uh, yes. You got it? Yeah, fantastic. Great view of it. Yeah. Regent yeah, Parrot. It's, it's, uh... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's quite colorful. Green, orange beak. It's cute. I never imagined I'd see a parrot in the wild, but here they are on the River Murray. And thanks to the excitement of the others here, I'm just as thrilled about it as they are. We're now off the bank and a cruise back towards Renmark. It's kind of an odd feeling to float an entire luxury penthouse style apartment down a flowing river, but it's also a very relaxing experience. And with a little extra time before dinner, there's one final spot around the corner we have to see. Where are you going? To get boozy. Ooh. As an added little treat, we are headed to a little brewery that's just around the river bend. So hopping on a little boat. Taking the boat to the brewery. Who would have guessed there'd be one of these out here? Another unique travel experience shared with new friends. Cheers! Lovely to meet you and uh, you've been a very pleasant group. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, Gabby. Cheers. Cheers to a week. Great week. So they also make a hard lemonade and an apple cider. So we've done a taster of that and the beer tasting. Oh, look at that pink lemonade. That's very good. Yeah. That was a pretty good stop. Bird watching may not have been at the top of my list, but I can say this has been maybe the perfect balance of exciting adventure with relaxing comfort and finished off perfectly with a big family dinner. I don't want to say it, but it, it feels a little bit like the Last Supper. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah well, <laughs> good group. Hasn't it been a lot of fun? If you're interested in this tour, I'll link them in the video description below. But you can't spend all this time on the Murray River without going in. Well, if you've made it to this part of the video, you must like bird watching, which is a good thing. Because next week we're headed into the rainforest to spot the world's most dangerous bird, a direct descendant of dinosaurs. We're looking for the famed cassowary, right here on Downey Live. Thanks for joining us on this Murray River Safari. I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me. We'll see you next week. <laughs>